it's not good right now. I mean, there's no other way to sugarcoat it. Ed Ogeron is saying all the right things. He knows the pressures of this job. He knows he replaced a guy in Les Miles that was a gem of a guy and beloved in the community that produced nine or ten wins every single season, developed NFL players and won a national championship and played for another national championship. The one thing about Ed Ogeron is that he came from that Pete Carroll tree, and he, he said over and over, I want to have great assistants, and I want to empower my assistants because if they have success, I'll have success. And that's what Pete Carroll did at USC. That's what he's done in Seattle. But right now, Dave Aranda isn't having the same kind of success defensively that, that his teams have had in the past. And, and he lost a ton of talent, Tredavious White, Jamal Adams, most notably Duke Riley. Um, but offensively, they paid Matt Canada seven figures to come down here from Pitt and open up this offense and, and utilize the playmakers and the skill guys that LSU has produced that weren't utilized under Les Miles and Cam Cameron. And they are not getting it done. And they are having problems in the trenches. And that's where it all starts in the SEC. But nonetheless, it's not good right now. When the AD has to meet with the head coach and the coordinators to kind of get everybody back on the same page, you know, that's that's not very good. And, uh, and, and the good thing is for LSU, the SEC is down this year, but they've got a lot of tough road games. At the Swamp is going to be hard. I'm afraid they're going to get embarrassed when they go to Tuscaloosa. At Ole Miss is going to be hard. So it, it's hard to find three more wins just to get them to 6-6. Six and six in a bowl game this year.